Hi, my name is Ryan and in this video let's create the simple expanding search box using HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. Just to let you know that I decided to make this video when I came across this amazing pen by Anna Tudor. It has some really cool animations and you need to check this out. I've added the link in the description box below. Alright, so now let's start working on our simple version of the same. Alright, so here in my HTML file, I have an input tag with a type of text. Then I've added a placeholder. And at the bottom, we have this div with the class of icon. And inside this div, we have a span tag which contains the HTML entity for the search icon which is a tiny magnifying glass icon and that is all we need for the html now let's go to our css file so here in the css file all i have is the basic reset i've removed the default margin and the padding now let's add a few styles to the body first i'll give it a background color of 252525 25. next i'll give it a height of 100vh now we'll also give it a few flexbox properties in order to center the input and the icon. So I'll say display flex, justify content center, line items center. And now you can see that the input and the icon are in the center. Now let's start styling the input element. I'll give it a height of 50 pixels. I'll give it a font size of 1.2 em. I'll give it a width of, for now I'll give it a width of let's say 50%. So right now when you click on this input, it has a blue outline. So we don't want that outline. So we are going to say outline none we'll give it a padding on the left of 10 pixel we don't want any borders so we'll say border none and we need some rounded corners so we'll say border radius of 15 pixel and here you can see that we have our input ready now let's start styling the search icon so we'll select the class of icon, we'll give it a height of 60 pixel, width of 60 pixel, a background color of red, I'll just make some space and we'll give it a border radius of 50% so that we have a circle. And we want the search icon to be exactly in the center of the circle. So we'll give it a few flexbox properties. So I'll say display flex justify content center align items center. Now you can see that the search icon is exactly in the center of the circle. Next, let's give it a font size of 1.7 em. We'll give the icon a white color next we choose a cursor of pointer now we don't want the right corners of the input element to be seen so we will slightly move the icon to the left so that it overlaps the right corners of the input so I'll say transform translate on the x-axis by negative 30 pixel and here you can see that the icon is now exactly on top of the right corners of the input next I'll slightly rotate the search icon so down here I'll select the span within the class of icon and I'll say transform rotate at 40, negative 45 degree and now I think the icon is rightly positioned here on top we'll just increase the font size to 1.8 em and that is it 
So now there's one thing we need to do. By default, we don't want the input to be seen. So here, if you remember, on top, we had set the width of the input to 50%. So now we'll set it to zero. However, when somebody clicks on this icon, we'll increase it to 60%. Okay, and we'll do it by creating a new class that we are going to add to our input using the JavaScript. So let's create this class. I'll name it active. And all I'm going to do is set the width to 60%. Now, when we add this class to our input tag using JavaScript and when somebody clicks on the icon, the width of the input is going to increase to 60% of the total width on the page. Okay, so let's go to our JavaScript and start working on it. So I'll go to my JavaScript file. And first we need to select the class of icon, which is the search icon. So I'll say document dot query selector. And we're going to select the class of icon and we're going to add an event listener. I'll just expand this editor. So we'll add an event listener of click and we'll run a function. And inside this function, we need to select the input element. So we'll say document dot query selector and we select the input element and we'll add a class the one that we just created which is the class of active and this class can be toggled and now if we check in a browser so when I click on the icon we can see that the input element appears and when I click on the icon again it disappears so now let's add in some transitions to the input element so I'll go to my CSS file and here for the input element I'll say transition all and I'll set the duration 2.5 seconds and now if we check in our browser we have this mode transition Finally, let's add in some hover effects to the input element. So in my CSS file, I'll come here at the bottom and I'll say input hover and we'll be using the box shadow property to create a glow inside the input when we hover over the input. So I'll say box shadow. The horizontal offset is going to be zero. The vertical offset is going to be zero. We'll set the blur radius to 5 pixel and we'll set the color to white so we'll be needing two more layers of shadow so I'll just copy this and I'll paste it at the bottom so all I'm going to change is this blur radius so the second one is going to be 10 pixel and the third is going to be 15 pixel now if we check inside the browser and when I hover over the input we can see that it has this glow and I think that is all so this was quite simple and an easy version of Anna Tudor Spin you can check it out I have the link added in the description box below and hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one till then have a nice day